there's a very simple way to add watermark to your videos in DaVinci Resolve. What we need to do is to come to Toolbox. Now let's go to Effects, where we're going to find watermark, which is also part of the Fusion Effects. Then what we can do is to simply drag and drop it on top of our existing clip here. And then you're going to find all the settings under the Effects tab in the Inspector panel. So now you have two options. You can add a text or a logo, an image. By default, it's going to be a text. You can come to the text box here, change this text to whatever text that you like. You can also play with the font style, uh, the size of the text as well. You can also play with the, the tracking, the line spacing. You can also change the text angle by changing the text rotation setting here. Uh, you can also scroll to the bottom of the inspector panel where you can change the blend setting, which is going to change the opacity of the text to make it either more prominent or more subtle uh, when it blends with the background. You also have the option to change the number of watermarks and also adjust the spacing between these watermarks by coming to this section right here. So adjusting width spacing uh, or height spacing, for example, is going to change how these uh, watermarks will look compared to each other. You can also change copies width and also copies height, which will either increase or decrease the number of watermarks either vertically or horizontally. Now you also have the option to use a logo instead of text. So to do that, we are going to first of all drag whatever logo that you have in the system and drop it on top of the clip name setting here. So drag and drop, simple like that. Now what we're going to do is to uh, click or check the use logo option up top. And then what we're going to do is to come to the blend setting at the bottom of the inspector panel and just uh, bring up the setting a little bit because I want this logo to uh, stand out a little bit more. Now let's also bump up logo saturation. Uh, if you don't like the black and white look, we can also change the logo size uh, as well as the logo angle. And just like text, you have the ability to change the number of logos as well as the spacing between these logos by changing these settings down here. Now, one last thing I wanna talk about is the fact that in the inspector panel, you do not have the option to change the position of the logo or the text. But the good news for us is that since this is a fusion effect, we can simply click on the fusion logo up top. This will take us directly to the fusion page. And then we're going to bring in a background note and immediately we're going to change the alpha setting to zero. And then let's go down the shift key and then drag this watermark note away from media in one and then connect the background note to it. Now let's connect this watermark note back to media in one as a foreground. So now all we need to do is to come to this merge note, change the center setting. This, as you can see, is going to adjust the position of the logo or the text, depending on which one you have. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial helps. And as always, I will see you next time.